So uh, we are uh, a collective uh, Metacitu. I'm one of the co-founders uh, and uh, we work mainly uh, with what we call uh, future uh, tactics uh, and uh, in fact we're quite like global art, globally operating uh, art collective and uh, the way we build uh, alternative uh, Europe uh, is uh, explore, is thinking about uh, uh, about the future of the cities uh, and uh, incorporating a, a kind of like a global uh, issues uh, in that uh, thinking. So I don't know if the formulation building uh, alternative Europe, uh, it's more like building alternative world in terms of cities. Uh, our workshop, uh, which uh, is looking at the spontaneous urbanism, or what we call consensus urbanism, in the framework of ecumenopolis, which is this concept developed uh, by Greek post-war uh, planner uh, Konstantinos Doxiadis, and which literally means that the whole world is one city and one urban fabric. Um, so, what we find really interesting is how cities actually are this very organic organism where a lot of things happen without a top-down uh, approach, such as, for example, the, the refugee camp, uh, small refugee camp uh, close to the Belgrade main station. And we find that this uh, example, in fact, uh, is, is a kind of, um, is a situation that uh, talks not only about uh, like the crisis, migration crisis, but it ac actually sets an example of uh, a kind of uh, urbanism because uh, that uh, camp itself, it's not only the, it's not only, it's, it's like this temporary uh, kind of space of inhabitation within the public space. And there's not only uh, like a tent, but there's like whole infrastructure that somehow supports uh, that uh, camp, such as public toilets, uh, uh, little Wi-Fi spots, information. And we find that that's something that actually can teach a lesson of spontaneous urbanism. So, for example, what we've been thinking is that you know, to build a tent in a public space uh, would not be something that is uh, kind of legitimized, but now because there is this situation, a homeless person can also join that community and there is a, like a kind of opportunities or possibilities for that uh, to evolve into a new forms again, or like what's gonna be the legitimacy after that is gone. So, Transfer Europa Festival is a quite a unique uh, place and uh, I mean we've been quite overwhelmed with meeting uh, so many interesting uh, people and uh, also we engaged in few workshops that were absolutely amazing. And I think uh, first of all uh, what uh, we will take uh, with us uh, is going to be uh, new collaborations uh, but also new ideas and in fact some quite practical uh, tools uh, that, uh, that would help our practice and uh, also like in terms of uh, creating a future uh, cities.